Good day. I am Jamar Ibon M. Nakwa, and I am your questioned document examiner. And now, I will prove to you that this alleged ransom note is owned by Mr. Istomo. So, these are the details of the subject. We have here the name of the subject, Istomo John Lennon E. His address at Natumlan Tagulwan, Misamis Oriental. Sex, male, age of 22 years old, in case of murder. This is the comparison chart. The cutted word in the question specimen is from the ransom note, while the cutted word in the known specimen is the standard specimen of the subject. So this will be the first set of specimen. Um, in general appearance, the word the in both specimen are somewhat identical. Even though different pen or writing instrument are being used, uh, both differ in sizes, also in pen pressure, still we can identify different patterns that manifest to the known specimen. Um, especially the, uh, the form. Um, as you can see, it was written in cursive writing in which one letter is joined or connected to the next letter. First, I observe, since it was a cursive writing, the letter T used in a question specimen is not really a cursive letter T. Rather, it was a script letter T, but the owner wrote it in cursive writing, which is um, which is seemingly identical to the known specimen. Yes, it's not the same in the rudimentary um, in the rudimentary curve initial stroke or bird, but in writing the crossbar or the T line of both questioned and known specimen are very identical. It's very natural the rhythm in crossbar from the initial stroke is smoothly curved up to the upward stroke or the whirl on the latter edge in its long loops. Um, it's seemingly identical as you can see that. And there's a portion here which is the ascender, the top portion of the upper loop of the letter H is also the same. I can say that um, it indicates a speedy writing of the owner because there's a great um, emphasis between the upstroke and the downstroke. And also, it increased spontaneity of the letter T connected to the letter H. Um, um, in the uh, in the world of letter H, the long loops, uh, the line quality is from thickness to quite thin, is seemingly identical. Also, last is. Um, the foot of the letter T. As you can see, both have a slightly curve or hitch. It means a stroke added to the ending of the letter T. Right? We have the same stroke. Um, so, if you still confused in this first set, um, just remember the principle involved in handwriting identification principle number one which is no two writers write exactly alike therefore even a single writer cannot perfectly duplicate his own handwriting one cannot perfectly produce a geometrical perfect handwriting 
that's why in this set um, there's a uh, there's a quite difference when it comes to stroke right there's somehow um, a long stroke and a quite short so overall I can say that they are identical now let's move to the second set of specimen we have here the cutted word earlier written in black writing and the question specimen and the known specimen cutted word is isiha that written in script writing um, we base here the capital letter e if it really belongs to Mr. Istomo, who owns the question specimen or the ransom note. Even though he tried to disguise it from short writing to long writing, still we can identify its similarities. Look at the hook in the tail part of the letter E. It's seemingly identical to each other. The way its curved upstroke is really similar. Also, as you observe the crossbar, both are uh, written in slightly curved up. The third set of questioned and known specimen, we have here the cutted word daughter in questioned specimen and cutted word sincerely yours in the known specimen. In this set, we focus to the small letter R in both specimen. The identical pattern of, of its form is the same, meaning they have the same characteristics to the shape or design of the individual letter, which is the small letter R. The inner side of the bottom in the small letter R, as you can see, it is separated. It's not stick together. They both have a sharp angle and also seemingly identical to the terminal strokes, the ending stroke of the letter R. So overall, they have the same characteristics in degree of position. Now to the fourth set of specimen, we have here a cutted number 500 in the question specimen and a numbers from 0 to 9 in the known specimen. In this set of specimen, the number 5 is seemingly identical with the known specimen. Like the hump, then the downward stroke are so the same. And lastly, the hitch on how the owner wrote it, there's an introductory backward stroke added to the ending to the number five it looks like um, a hesitating strokes so these two specimens specifically the number five both manifested in like in strokes as you can see to the question specimen and the known specimen they have actually seemingly identical strokes in the number five to the last set of specimen that I can say that this alleged ransom note is truly belongs to Mr. Istomo. So we have here the word foreign in question specimen and the word fox in the known specimen. We base here the small letter F. As you can see, although it's not the same in the starting stroke, but if you really examine or look closely at the whole part of the letter F, you can tell that it is really the same. Just like the upper extension, the downstroke, and the lower extension are seemingly identical with the known specimen. Um, just like the, also the, the shape, the eye loop, the upward stroke, and lastly, the sharp angle in the foot of the letter F. Therefore, as a question document examiner, I conclude that the alleged ransom note is clearly belongs to Mr. 
и что мы.